Hi everyone, thanks for joining. Today I'm going to be working on a book tumbler, a burnt page tumbler. I've seen this in many different Facebook pages and groups and I really loved it and I couldn't find a tutorial about how to do it. So here is my version. I am choosing a book that has my name in the title, therefore many pages that I ripped out had my name that I could apply directly to the cup, which I thought was a kind of a neat thing. Um, I do, I love books, so for me, ripping apart a book was kind of weird. It was sad almost. Um, I just, I love reading books, so for me, that was a weird thing to do. Um, also, I want to mention, I will have an upcoming video about hydro dipping. Um, I am doing some can um, stainless steel koozies for a bachelor's party and the theme is firefighter and EMS. These were 12 ounce can koozies um, I got from my local Ocean State job lot store for $5 a piece which was a fairly good price and I was able to grab as many as I needed. My husband is the uh, best man and he asked me to make these can koozies for him and his guys. So the cup I'm going to be decorating today is a 10 ounce cup. Um, I like the smaller cups personally and this one is for me. So materials that I got were my book, a piece of tin foil, and a lighter. Now I used two different lighters. The first one is just the one you see in my hand. And the other one I ended up using was a regular cigarette lighter type with the, with the wheel. Um, I ended up switching because that lighter that's on the screen currently um, is hard to push the, the button down to get to light. So as I'm doing page after page after page, my thumb was beginning to hurt. So I ended up using the other lighter as well. So I want to mention that these pages, they go very, very quick. And at first I was sitting here blowing out the pages and then realized that's probably not the best idea to be blowing hot burning cherries from the page at my computer. Probably not the best thing. So you'll see I switched over to folding up a corner of that tinfoil page. Um, and just stamping out the fire if it got out of control or too much and um, as I said it does go very very fast so you want to be ready to put out that fire because otherwise you'll just be burning pages up and they won't be able to be used I think in total I probably used six to eight pages out of this book and I didn't pick any particular section I just kind of opened the book and ripped out some pages um, out of the pages that I did rip out I looked for portions of the text where my name was and I just kind of ripped accordingly and burnt around the edges on those pages in that manner just so I could have my name in multiple multiple spots around the cup which I thought was a, a neat thing and that's this is a very simple easy thing to to do and I didn't and I wanted my name to be all kinds of around the cup um, I did also I eventually try to cut out and rip out the cover of the book and try to burn those edges to as a as a label. In the end, the cover is made of a different kind of material where it was almost plasticky, so it didn't burn the same. Um, and it was bright blue, so I probably won't end up using it. Um, I'll probably just cut something out on my Cricut that, I, that will be able to be in a color that I like, or 
a color that flows better with the page colors. But I did keep it and burn the edges as well. Um, but as I said, it just didn't burn the same, so it's not quite what I want. It goes fairly fast for all these pages to be cut and burned. And then you're just going to pick them up and mod podge them onto your cup and stagger them and layer them. And that's basically all I needed to do. The hardest part, the longest part was the burning of all the pages. That was the most time consuming part of this tumbler. I got into a sort of a rhythm here and you can see how I'm using the corner of this tinfoil sheet and that was a very um, effective way to stamp out any flames that I didn't want to continue on. As I said, I used probably six or eight pages total and um, just ripped them into different shapes and different lengths to make sure that the cup didn't look uniform. It looked organic and, and didn't have any like straight lines on it. I've been seeing this style cup in a lot of Facebook pages and I was very, very interested in how to do it, and I searched online, and I searched on YouTube, and I wasn't finding any tutorials that explain the steps. Um, I'm the kind of person that likes to see something done to know how to do it myself. It's hard for me to read something and, and get the directions down perfectly. So this was um, my attempt to help out everybody else who felt the same way, and I really love the way that this cup has come out. My hand got rather tired from spinning that wheel. I ended up cutting into my thumb a little bit, like I got raw from constantly lighting that lighter. Uh, so here you see the cover of the book and how it's, like I said, it's blue. Um, and it just didn't burn the same, it just didn't, it's not made of the same material, so it wasn't going to be able to be used like I was hoping. There is a lot of ash that comes off of these pages so I kind of crinkled mine around a little bit for before I put them on the cup because I wanted that stuff to kind of fall off before I started putting them on my cup. I as you see did not paint my cup to begin with. I didn't see the point in it and it didn't have any adverse effects. So at this point it's just layering on different sizes and shapes of um, the pages and basically it's just going about it as I like the way it looks. Um, I did use quite a bit of Mod Podge. I did a good base layer under each page and then a good layer on top of each page that I put on and then after I got a full coat all the way around the cup um, and that was started to dry I went back and I put a full just thick layer of Mod Podge just to cover everything and coat everything and I did two of those thick coats on top of putting down each page um, once that was done and I fixed any spots that I saw any of the stainless through or any spots that I didn't like the way it looked um, and I covered it up and I put Another additional pieces on I did after all of that I did a thin layer to coat it and just make sure everything was sealed properly and my epoxy wasn't going to get in around the cup and I ended up having a little bit of an issue at the top where I needed to put some more Mod Podge after everything had been dried because I 
trimmed up the edges and the very very top there was around the lip of the cup there was um, a little bit of space where the pages didn't adhere to the cup very well so I put some more Mod Podge in there and then did another base coat um, a thin layer of that Mod Podge just to seal it all again This was a fun project and it really didn't take a whole lot of time. Um, as I said, aside from just burning all the pages, the actual putting together of the cup was very, very fast. And I really, really like the way that it looks. And you can pretty much do anything with this. You can put any kind of book quote, doesn't matter what pages you actually use. You can put any kind of quote or, um, attribute it to any kind of book that you would like I, I would think I really like the way that this shows and it reminds me of a Harry Potter book something that you'd see off of um, something that you'd see attributed to a Harry Potter theme that's the first thing I thought of anyway And I just want to mention that with all the pages that I did cut up and burn, there is quite a pile that I have left that's remaining that didn't get used. So for a 10 ounce cup, I mean, six to eight pages was more than I needed. So you really don't need a huge amount of pages to, to get enough coverage for your cup. I mean, if I suppose if you're doing a 30 ounce cup, you're going to want to do some more, but and with the, what I did on this 10 ounce cup, six to eight pages was plenty. And it gave me a little bit extra just to um, save if I needed to fix a spot or anything of that sort. All right, so here is the cup after all the um, Mod Podge layers have dried. And it's fairly smooth. It's really not that bumpy. The bottom is a little bit bumpy, but that's because I had to fold the edges over. Now, as I mentioned, the edge up here, the, the rim of the cup, I needed to trim that down. So I just grabbed an X-Acto knife and I trimmed it up. There's a few bumps on the bottom here and one spot that I was missing, so I went and I fixed that as well. I really, really love the way it looks. So as I said, I just took this X-Acto knife and I just trimmed all the way around the top, keeping my knife level so I didn't cut into the layer that was at the very top of the cup and it just went all the way around and that was very simple, easy cleanup. So as I said, there is a little bit of a space at the rim where I needed to put more Mod Podge because it did separate um, away from the cup. But that was no problem either. I just put some more Mod Podge on it and after doing that, I put I just did a whole little thin coat everywhere because I had that piece on the bottom that I was missing as well. And that cleared it up. It fixed what I needed to fix. and that cup is ready for the turner. So once I put my layer of epoxy on and uh, put my decal on, do another layer of epoxy, this cup is done. Thanks for watching.